Well, as Black History Month comes to a close in a few days, we're reminded of the important contributions that are made by local entrepreneurs. Before becoming a pastry chef, Soroya Eugene was a clinical lab scientist for 16 years. She realized she needed a change, and someone close to her heart inspired her to take a chance and own her own bakery. We take you to North Providence in this week's Sweet Street Stories. The day started before the rising of the sun for the Street Stories team and all the bakers in Rhode Island. Hi, I'm Soroya Eugene. I am the pastry chef and owner of Soroya's Bakery. We are the first black woman owned bakery in North Providence. Preparing red velvet cake. Soroya has been baking and making treats for years. I know all my recipes by heart. Baking will give you some muscles. Let's just put it that way. First for family and friends. So this is our red velvet. Just want to get this chocolate cake prepped. Before deciding to become a business owner. I opened up my first location during 2020, during the pandemic. I brought a smile to people's faces when things were just not in a good place. I love making pies. After renting space in Pawtucket in 2020. It's up kind of late prepping. The move to this location in North Providence. Soroya's grandmother, Edith, is her inspiration. Well, she baked everything from scratch, from the pie crust to the filling, so it was only right that I learned how to bake from scratch. It takes a little bit longer, but you put your love, your time, and your effort into it, and you can really taste the difference. I definitely take her wisdom to heart. We have long talks, and it just helps me get through. Soroya believes she's a part of history. Owning my own business, thriving, is one of the most important things. I think there's a stigmatism that black businesses are not professional, um, they don't thrive, um, they don't last. It means a lot. It brings me a sense of pride um, to be able to represent for my culture and for all the little black girls out there that look up to me to know that you can do anything that you put your mind to. This mother and North Providence business owner mindful of her place in history. I do have a favorite mixer. <laughs> Which is this one. I believe there's no better time than now to step out of your comfort zone and go for those goals, go for those dreams, and take those chances. Uh, the door's open for us to really shine and show our gifts to the world. I'm proud to show my boys um, that you can push through um, because it wasn't easy um, getting to where I am. Dreams do come true. Soroya says it hasn't been easy trying to juggle being a mom and business owner, but the long talk she has with her grandmother help her get through the challenging times. I gotta try that red velvet Looks good, huh? cake, cupcake. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I gotta try it. Good for her. Tonight, uh, by the way, please join us for a special presentation honoring black history from local stories to those from around the country. We're highlighting trailblazers in the black community. It airs next at 630 over on Fox Providence.